you're late to the party. Pretty late to the party. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's just we uh, have other things that we did instead. Drink a yes. lot. But we could not miss this match. I have been really looking forward to the professor taking on his tutelage, his understudy, his protege, I his guess. His protege. But ever since the spectacular when he was just constantly braiding Cody <laughs> for Poor everything Cody. that he was doing, and finally, at the end, he was like, I will face you. We finally get to see that right now. And it's exciting because, yes, that the uh, spectacular, you just saw Lon Harris going around just bugging Cody. Uh, and I was like, what the hell is he What's doing? What's going on? And then we got to see that come in uh, full-fledged, you know, uh, creation of a rivalry that could span the ages. But in this one, hashtag who you got? Uh, I'm going Cody. Of course. Come on. It's Cody Hall. Yeah. How could we not go for Cody? Exactly. Every time we see him, I'm like, hi, Cody. He's a little <laughs> Peter. Hey, guys. Little, little Peter Parker, Peter Parker looking mother. Yeah, he's he's Peter Parker, and I really want to see him at least put in a valiant effort uh, yeah. against Lon Harris, who we know does have the potential to become a pretty big uh, heel within the Schmodown. Yes, so, exactly. Now that we've gotten our bearings after that ashy slashy reaction, uh, I'm glad you guys really enjoyed that. Let's get into uh, the battle between Lon and Cody now. Now. <laughs> Look at Cody! <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome uh, back to the movie that, Trivia Spot! I am Mark, and as they call me baby carrots around these parts, right over here is Ken Napsok. Ken, what a matchup we have today. Two of the best competitors in Schmodown history are not here today, but Lon Harris and Cody <laughs> Hall are. I can sense your tone in what you're saying there. I, I see the subtext. You are insinuating that the Professor Lon Harris, one of the most intelligent competitors ever to grace us here in the Schmodown, <laughs> is picking on Cody Hall. I've heard you talking in the pre-production. I've heard you talking off air. Oh. You are disparaging Cody with that kind of tone because this is an amazing competitor. Look, the guy won a nice poll on Facebook, okay? He won the movie trivia Schmodown. We had a poll, <laughs> who's the prospect to watch this season? And Lon Harris did win that. He beat Mark Bernard in his first match, but he's been doing nothing but needling and harassing and being very passive aggressive about such a task <laughs> to Cody Hall. Cody Hall is somebody who, I didn't even know he's seen a movie, and now Lon <laughs> Harris is challenging. He's saying all these things about Cody. Lon Harris is an up and coming prospect in here, but Cody Hall, Ken, in sports terms, this is like the 1976 Buccaneers. For all you young kids, like the like the recent Cleveland Browns. It's a really bad orange team at football. John McKay was their coach. They went 0-14. Doug Williams was the quarterback. Not I get yet. the reference. Not yet. All right, but here's the thing. Season 5 of the Schmodown <laughs> is one of the first, one of sports the first references. supported by the fans directly. We got the Patreon page. It's going strong. Yeah. I'd love to see all the support, but what that means, Mr. Ellis, is that new things will happen here, new competitors will break out, and the professor is one of those competitors. He took on Mark Bernard last year, a great competitor. He showed him his lunch, looked at it, put Bernard's face in it, moved it around, and then after the match, gave Cody Hall the opportunity of a lifetime, and that's what we're here today to watch. Well, you seem really high on Lon the Professor, and I will say this, I think that this match puts a lot more pressure on Mr. Harris than it does on Cody Hall, because if Lon wins today, he was supposed to win. He challenged poor Cody Hall, yeah. a kid who's never seen a picture in his life. But if Cody wins, Lon Harris may never live down the embarrassment. He may get the biggest Ooh, upset boy, some fist title away from us there. for 2018. Look, all right, Cody Hall mm -hmm. hasn't competed since 2014. What's going on <laughs> in Cody's head. This is the pressure mounting on him. Go, do I really belong here? Should I have just quit and ran away? No, no. This is this is all Cody. This is the pressure building in his brain. It's not the professor. The pre professor feels no pressure. Well, maybe we let the fans decide because they were doing some yapping pregame. Here's a quick clip of how these matchups feel going into the competitors. Huh? So I'm back in the Schmodown, and honestly, I have no idea why. Uh, I thought I established a long time ago. I'm very bad at this. And then out of nowhere, this Lon Harris guy, who I've never met in my entire life, just decides to call me out 
after having like one of the best first matches ever. I don't know, it's like LeBron James winning Rookie of the Year and then calling out Smush Parker for a one-on-one. -on -one. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, I think friend. that uh, people were impressed with my first appearance on the show because they're so desperate for someone to come in who can speak about film in a, in a thoughtful, in an, in an educated, in a worldly way. I think mean, we've had so many competitors come through who's like, oh yes, it's Iron Man has his Mac 20 suit and his Mike 40 suit and oh, which, you know, hero is going to cross over with which hero in the turtle movies and finally, like a breath of fresh air, the professor has come to, to bring the world of film to Schmodown Trans. Do I think I'm going to win? No. <laughs> no, that's an actual question. You're actually... Okay, uh, uh, honestly, I'll be surprised if I get two questions right. Uh, and if I do end up winning this, it's going to be one of the greatest achievements in mankind. I mean, right up there with the moon landing, the invention of the wheel, the first time we all saw JTE's Patriots poncho. <laughs> Help, Cody. It's, it's, a, it's a mark to how poor things have gotten that my attempts to uplift this young man of promise and to bring him to a new level where he's able to experience the world, that that is seen as harassment, is it's a really sad testament to the movie trivia Schmodown, I think. So I'm at the spectacular just minding my own business, and this guy, again, Lon, a person I've, again, I've never met in my life, just following me around, just harassing me, just constantly asking me all these questions, and I just, I got fed up with it, and fine, I guess he won, I'm playing him now. Congratulations, Lon. You know, Cody, I, I feel for you. I do that you've been let down by so many. You've been let down by parents, peers, the schmodown, a system that just doesn't care uh, about the way that you've been wallowing in ignorance. And that is why today, Cody, I am delighted to teach you a lesson. Lon, you're probably going to kick my ass today. But if you don't, <laughs> it's going to be one of the greatest things that's ever happened, and the student is going to become the master. Go Wangers! Yeah! Yeah! Is this a Wangers 2.0? Can you see that? Lon Harris, very, very cocky, as you might surmise. And Cody Hall, looking happy to be here, but I also can sense a little bit of fire in that belly of his. Uh, of, of Cody Hall? That yeah. looked like fire to you? Yeah. It looked like he got detention, but, but you know, that this wasn't a cute 80s movie where there's a song and a dance going on. He just looked like he was in trouble. The professor <laughs> is clearly gracing us with his presence. I am thankful that he is here to bring some intelligent Love film discussion to the Schmodown. Well, I am not on his payroll like you apparently are, but we do have a tale of the tape. <laughs> Believe it or not, Cody Hall does have some strengths in the movie That's trivia Schmodown. And we're going to see the, what those are right always now. Ken goes tells the bad about guys. each one of these fellows. Cody Hall, who by the way has a record of 0-1, his strengths include comic book movies, Bingo. horror movies, and Pixar movies. Oh, what are you, a millennial? I get it. <laughs> The Professor Lon Harris is to include like drunk uncle. fantasy sci-fi and German expressionist film. This is a real competitor. Do we have a German express? I'm getting the notes now. We do not have a German expressionist wheel slice. However, that there wheel that's going to be appearing in round two does have some of the strengths and maybe a weakness or two of each one of the competitors. Ken, I am ready to go. I am so excited about Cody Hall possibly upsetting Lon the Professor Harris. You know what, Mark? I'm ready, too. It's going to be a great match. You ready? I'm ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie, movie Trivia Schmodown! Introducing first. Introducing first. <laughs> Representing <laughs> the Wanger. Yeah. With a record of... Zero Cody. I say zero wins. This is around me. Bring it on. One defeat. <laughs> Weighed Jeez. in at 105 pounds with his wallet. The web slinger. Cody. Oh, wait, I'll lift you up. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oxter getting the curse. Oh, there Boy, is everything okay? Going Whoa, Space God, Jam with it, huh? A lot of aggression there. Cody and Cody and Cody walking out with a Space Jam jersey. That Who's is controlling Michael the Jeffrey camera, Coster? From the Toon Squad, Ken. All right, you see, Coster, Coster, Coster almost couldn't fit through that curtain with those shoulders there. It's good. All right. <laughs> the broad shoulders of Coster, are they large enough to carry Cody Hall onto victory today? His opponent. Representing the school of the elite. With a record. Are they going to come out like Michelle Pfeiffer? Probably. And zero defeats. He is the Wanger. Yeah. Professor Long. I love this. Hey. Drop the 
dropping some knowledge, throwing out some homework. Uh, apparently there's some sort of a quiz. Is this a hot quiz, Ken? Did we know this was happening? He's handed out his syllabi for Cody Hall. He's handed out the syllabi, and it's great. Uh, he's assigned... He has a I didn't realize he had secret stuff written on his bottle. That's the only way you gotta do it. You gotta come out with the secret stuff. Fifth edition, pages 176 to 190. Make sure you get the fourth edition. This is a very detailed syllabus of the class that Lon Harris has prepared for Cody Hall. Lon, would you like us to actually did right now? Or would you like to take the. Oh, I did not save it. I handed out all the syllabi. Oh, you can gladly have mine. Please, while I'm just going. You're going to need that. You're going to need that. Okay, look, I. I will read off very quickly for the audience before we begin. This is the course description of the class that the professor has so kindly prepared for Cody Hall. This course provides an overview of the traditional 20th century film canon with an emphasis on classic significant films that Cody Hall has never seen. <laughs> so essentially, every film that does not feature adolescent mutated reptiles that have somehow in defiance of all logic acquired martial arts skills. By the end of the semester, Mr. Hall should demonstrate baseline proficiency and understanding in film theory with a rudimentary knowledge of films that don't feature interstellar vehicle impersonating robots for the love of God. That sounds like a pretty intense class, Ken. Yeah. Mark, next time, remind me, we need to work on your elocution. <laughs> <laughs> you got to project from the diaphragm. From the diaphragm. Wow. <laughs> He'll get it. All right. I am ready. Uh, if you want to read the competitors' the rules or, or, or state them to Cody, if you need Copter to explain them in detail, let us know. Let me Appreciate elocute that. the rules for the <laughs> movie trivia <laughs> showdown. Not use proper. Not use proper. Let's, Let's get, get ready, ready to showdown. We need to just keep going. The showdown. Yeah. Three rounds to, to a finish. finish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, here we are, <laughs> kicking off things. Lon, you came out to the Dangerous Minds theme song. Are you indicating that you are also a former Marine professor? Uh, I'm. I'm a beautiful, alluring professor. I was going for that one. All right. To each their own. In the first category, the world of animated movies. These are movies that are drawn by hand or otherwise. My Ants man's not working right and now. A Bug's Life. Both came out in 1998. But which film was theatrically released first? 1998 was a great year for me. I had a full head of hair. It was uh, one of my favorites. Which one did I see first? Pretty impressive. Got a 50 50 shot here. I only saw one in theater, so Four, I'm going this way. <laughs> One of one, one Harris, your attempt at an answer. Uh, I believe the first film to come out was Ants. That is correct for one point. Cody Hall, what did you have? I, I got a red tooth. Yeah! 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 Look at yeah! that. Look at that already. Yeah! Yeah! It's over. Kevin, you can go to the back. Like it's done. The crowd is slightly Cody. rooting. All right, good game. Good game, guys. Can you tell me... What what percentage chance you had of getting that right? It was 50%. It was doesn't matter. It's still 50. correct. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> Question sure. number two coming in. This is in the category of comedy. Comedies. The Yuck Yuck Pictures. What number are Bill and Ted thinking of when they play the guessing game with their future selves in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? I don't remember what number. Is it two numbers? Was it two numbers? Yes, it is two Paul numbers, math, but it's technically five, one four, number. Three, two, one. I don't remember. Cody Hall. We'll go with 69. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. 69, dude! Juan Harris? I don't remember. Uh, it's actually Whoa. 69, dude. There you go. <laughs> Can we, is, that a, is that a half point more? Is that a half point? <laughs> I, no? Getting the no okay. sign. From the judges, so uh, tied at two to two, Cody does not seem to be phased by the overall favoritism of the professor. Give my love the to the princesses. He does seem to have a home crowd advantage here. You'll Our next see. category comes from what this match has already provided us: dramas. Your question is: Matt Damon drama. and Ed Norton play cards to pay off their gambling debt in what film? You ever had a gambling debt that you paid off with uh, playing cards? Uh, not yet. I'm still working. Oh, what's the name of We go to five. Place. Four, three, two, one. The know. professor, your answer. Uh, I believe the film is Rounders. Give the man a point. Cody Hall. It was Rounders. Yeah! Yeah! Cody. Oh, 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 Perfect. So oh, he already, This might be the earliest in the history of the Schmodown. Somebody's actually chanted for a competitor. That either means Cody is great or nobody thought he would win. <laughs> the latter. 
Question four. Question four, category horror thriller, horror thriller. Who played the serial killer, stuntman Mike, in Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof? I like that cute man, huh? Uh, he's, he wanted to do a Star Trek movie. Here, yeah, here foul language. I, I don't approve of foul language. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Cody Hall. Is that Kurt Russell? Yeah. Give him a point. Juan yeah. Harris? Well, when, when you present a right answer, do it with confidence. It's Kurt Russell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that Cody's learning a little bit something about how to become a man through Lon Harris. This might be a team-up sometimes. That's what see. this is all about. No, I don't think that's what it's all about. Number five, your category is action-adventure. Competitors, action-adventure and your question therein. Who directed Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol? Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. That Tom Cruise keeps doing stuff and he keeps getting injured man. Well, you know, this happens when you're in your 50s and you're jumping from play. Oh, uh, man. Three, two, one, Professor. I don't know. The answer is uh, Bradbury. That's correct. He got oh, that one. Damn. Right. Cody Hall match. I damn. Well, wow. wow. Cody, wow. Cody killing it. Toe for toe. You know, when you allow Greengrass. Cody to write the questions, someone, right? it's much easier for him to get them correct. Yeah, regardless of who we're going to like that. Five and five. Oh, you guys five. don't like that? <laughs> question six. Question six. Category is family films. What your parents are gonna let you watch tonight, Cody? <laughs> Who played the queen in the 2012 film Mirror Mirror? Oh boy, did I fall in love with that movie? Mm. Yeah, that popular movie in Schmoes No War. Mm. Yeah, it is. Christian was more level-headed about it. Me? So, I, in love. I was wrapped up in a world of the five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Hands down, I'm gonna need an answer. Cody Hall, who you got? Uh, Julia Roberts. No. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 yeah! Hell yeah, Cody. Wow. Well, that's a professor. Uh, I've not seen this juvenile film. I guess Kate. <gasps> oh, 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 shit! Oh, oh, the hell? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come back and, and get my eraser. Oh, he's rattled. <laughs> I would like everyone in the studio and at home to know that that was not a win. Cody Hall did not actually win a match right there. That was just the overexerpence of Copster. Yeah, that was Copster and Cody enacting one of their favorite movies of all time, Saving Silverman, the Steve Zahn character, to the Jason Biggs currently on stage against who would be Amanda Peet. Now we have two questions left in round number one. And Cody Hall, against all odds, still pitching a perfect game. Two more questions correctly, and he gets a bonus question just to himself. Your next category, romantic comedies. Romantic comedies. <laughs> Your question is, who does Sandra Bullock romance in The Proposal? The actor's name? In the, we, we would prefer the actor's name, yes. But if you know the character name, then. The character name. It would be amazing if you knew the character name. Oh, yeah. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, and Why one. Why are you and naked? The professor. Why are you really not? wish we would get some films that aren't American films from the last few years, but I guess Chris O'Donnell? What? Uh, what? Correct. What? And Cody? in his reaction, Cody revealed the answer to us. Right, right, right. right. Holy crap. <laughs> Two-point game. Why hasn't this man been playing? And Cody Hall is one answer away from pitching a perfect round. Don't worry, crowd. We got it under control up here. <laughs> I'd be to losing degree. my mind if I was in that crowd. Be right. You and I just need to get the hell out of the back entrance. <laughs> Your last category comes from movie release dates. Ken has the question. Movie release dates. Right. Movie release dates, like Mark said. Final question is, the first Iron Man movie was released in what year? Shh. Seriously? The, the first the Iron Man. I don't oh, keep track of the years. Five, four, three, two, one. The first one. ten oh, years. Oh, your answer for the first eight. round. <laughs> <laughs> fact, I just forgot about the, t the ten years. Oh, yeah. I already knew it was 2008. It was either 04 or 08. And the oh, crowd wow. clearly favoring Cody, Lon Harris, to stay competitive wow. at this point. Your answer. It's 2005. Oh, oh, wow. Jesus. Right. What? Okay, uh, Ken, before Cody, we ask get Cody it. his bonus Join the question, club. it will be to him and him only. Lana Harris will not be competing in this. 
<laughs> Here's something that's really interesting is that Cody Hall is now going to be up 8-5 to five yeah. as of right now. Lon Harris stepping step with Cody for a while, and then Cody just dusted him. Right. Before we go to round two where Lon will have an opportunity to come back here maybe with one of his favorite categories, Cody Hall gets one bonus question. This is worth one point, Cody. There is no penalty for missing the question. And it is, from any category potentially, your question is, in what 1980s movie what? will you hear the quote, if it bleeds... We can kill it. Alien? Predator. Predator. Okay, everybody. One of those. I wasn't born in the 80s. So, You're right. Uh, I don't know, Predator? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> One point for Predator. What does that mean? So many lucky. Oh, so yes. Can you be a lucky guest, Ken, or could it be something guesses. more? Cody what? Hall has a 9 to 5 lead at the end of round Cody, one. You know, you know, I think Cody is just pulling this like, I don't know anything, but I do know it. You know, like he you actually does know it. An answer is an answer, man. Right. Look, I <laughs> Cody is, is from that generation that needs participation trophies. They need to be encouraged. And, and this is this is an encouragement for, for Cody and his generation. This is what they need. Uh, it, it's cute, but now let's get to the actual part of it. That's right. Cody Hall was born in, I think, <laughs> oh, yes. in 2003. Lon Harris born during the Perfect Great Depression. Score. They're clashing together right now. <laughs> and the wheel has come out in round two where fortunes can change. I'll go first. All right, there Cody's going to give Cody. it a big spin. That sometimes puts the pressure on your opponent. It's, it's a good strategy. I right, understand it. Such a large lead, it might be hard and feel mm -hmm. insurmountable. Mm -hmm. Cody Hall massaging the wheel at the base, <laughs> just like a teacher to do. There oh, goes nice. for it. Yes. the spin, and it is mixed, mixed bag. bag. Yep. It's going to yep. go again. Yep. Yeah, don't do it. Trusting it's it with mixed bag. Cody Hall, give that a big spin for your mulligan. Here comes his category, Ken. The spin. He went away from mixed bags. you got to think Cody Hall is yeah. looking for something more recent. The spin is in. Like comic yeah. book movies. Something he can control, a category he knows. And oh, it could be opponent's choice. Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah. And this is where the teacher can really yeah. hold the eye. Oh, over man. the student. Lon what a Harris. wonderful educational opportunity this is going to be. I think we have to go with class. We don't have to. Dang. He's going with classics. Uh, Ken Knapsack will be administering the questions to young Cody Hall. I'll be asking Lon the questions. Ken, please, let's see if Cody is educated in the world of classics. All right, four questions in the category Damn. of classics. First one, in which Jerry Lewis film does his character never speak? Yeah, I'm gonna go with multiple choice on that one, Ken. <laughs> A, The Big Mouth. B, Hardly Working. C, The Bellboy. D, Cinderfella. The Bellboy. Is incorrect for a steal. I believe it's the bellboy, see? That is correct. One point yeah. steal. All right, so Lon Harris already gaining traction on Cody Hall during Cody Hall's category. Absolutely. Thank you. Is Second question. What classic comedy features a leopard, Katherine Hepburn, and Cary Grant? I, yeah, I think I'm going to go multiple choice again on that. Roman Holiday? Choices are A, The Odd Couple, B, Baby Boom, oh, no. C, Some Like It Hot, D, bringing up baby. The odd couple. Bringing up it's, baby? I think it's the odd couple. No, it's not the odd I don't know. Five, four, D. That is correct for a point. That is correct for a point. <laughs> Ken, I don't odd even know if you knew the name of the movie. It's not the other something guessing, completely but he knew different, the letter yeah. D, and that was enough to get him a point. That's all you need. You're a wonderful guesser. Thank you. <laughs> Third question out of four. Who plays seasoned and crooked senator Joseph Harrison Payne in the classic Mr. Smith Goes to Washington? Uh, you repeat it? That is one JT rule. Who plays seasoned and crooked senator Joseph Harrison Payne in the classic Mr. Smith Goes to Washington? Yeah, multiple choice. <laughs> A, Claude Rains. B, Clark Gable. I'm going to go Clark C, Gable. C, Lee Marvin. D, Edward Arnold. I'll go Lee Marvin. Uh, I haven't guessed it yet, so let's go C. That is incorrect for steal. D, Edward Arnold. That is incorrect as well. Oh, Damn! Yeah. Claude Rains. Yes. Claude Rains. Blocked. Okay, so Ken, Cody kind of navigating his way through this category thus far. One more question remains, and this does ensure that he will still have wreck, but... some semblance of a lead once he is done with this very brutal category on a young man. Right. All right. <laughs> Final question. What 1950s classic adventure film that is based on a novel was directed by John Huston and starred Gregory Peck and Orson Welles? 
And you're not going to believe this, but I'm going to go multiple choice again. <laughs> A, the Thornbirds. B, the Scarlet Letter. C, Moby Dick. D, the Golden Bowl. Golden Bowl. Five. I'll go A. Four, A. 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 Incorrect. Four steel. The Golden Bowl. Incorrect. Yeah. Looking for Moby Dick. Yes. Moby Dick. Did not work in Lon's right, so favor Ken, it at is all. now 10 to 6 because he Cody did get a point, point and also got a point, so it's still a four-point game either way. Here's the interesting scenario to remember is that Classics was considered a strength of yeah. the professor, so that's now off the wheel, so he's going to have to spin something else, and the points he could have gotten with Classics have been severely diminished because Cody kept checking multiple choice. Uh, absolutely. Lon yeah. Harris, you now have a spin. Hoping for German expression. Yeah, but they didn't get still. like the ones that he could have. My spin was like, better. He, yeah, he wouldn't have done it. Yeah. One yeah, the other, Ken. I have. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to land on. That could be Spinner's choice. Oh, no, no, coming, coming of age. age. Coming of age. Uh, I think I will spin again. He's going to spin again. Lon Harris does not enjoy watching young people fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> Good spin by the professor. That's the professor has been using the, spin. the college gym. Mm. <laughs> Some, uh, gymnastics. All right, we could have directors, family yes, films. Yes, come on, films to be come spread. on. Family Cody, films. rob him. All right, Lon Harris, family films. You know, Ken made the joke about Cody watching them later on tonight. Maybe Cody gets a pizza because he also could be walking away here with a win in this category. It's going to go wow. a long way to determine that. Your first question, Lon, to you and to you only as of right now in the world of family films. What nickname? was given to the intimidating duo of enforcers Fulton Reed Bash and Brothers. Dean Portman in D2, The Mighty Ducks. The Bash uh, Brothers. I will have to go multiple choice. Damn. An ainly juvenile question. All right. Is it A, Scare Pair, B, Bash Brothers, C, Dynamic Duo, or D, Bash and Dash? He's going to go Bash and Dash. I will go with B, Bash Brothers. All right, go. He That's got a point. For a boy. He got a point. And he is now three away from Cody Hall. Juan, your next question. <laughs> Boom. What is the name of the lifeguard in the Wendy Peppercorn. Classic, the Sandlot? Wendy Peppercorn, yeah. Wendy Peppercorn. I will Peppercorn. again go multiple shots on this question. What? All right, your strength options are. Is it A, Haley Goodfarer, B, Wendy Peppercorn, C, Julie Gaffney, or D, Sarah Santarelli? Nope. I recognize B from myself. I'll go with B, Wendy Pepper. Yeah, Give stick him with another your first point, instinct. Yeah. yeah, that's correct. Give him another point. <laughs> you can hear a pin drop in the <laughs> when they found out Lon had guessed correctly. Yeah. Lon, you made out of one uh, favor of the home an audience. educated guess. Tell you this, he is now one correct answer away from possibly tying. He could still have a lead going into. I'm gonna write mine down just in case. Uh, gives you a little question. more time to guess. Because it what seems like he ain't gonna get him right off the bat. Delivers to Michelangelo through the drainage grate in 1990s. What? Teenage <laughs> Mutant Ninja Turtles. What pizza place does Michelangelo order from in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I don't remember Turtles. Pizza uh, Hut. I'll, I'll go multiple choice again. Uh, uh, I specifically in the syllabus mentioned mutated reptile questions. <laughs> Very disappointing. Maybe Cody handing you a syllabus at the end of this match. Is it A. Domino's? B. Godfather's Pizza? C. Pizza Hut? Or D. Mazio's Pizza? Hmm. Take a guess. I don't know. I'm really I tired. Guess. I don't remember. C. Pizza Hut. That is incorrect. Cody Hall for the steal. I don't know for sure. Is it D? That is correct. No. Great. Well, Domino. Domino. Domino's is the Should correct answer. Oh, really? <laughs> All right. I have the app on my phone. One twenty-two and an eight. Memories, Domino's. One twenty-two and an eight. And if you get this right without the need of multiple choice, you will tie Cody Hall at ten going into round three. The world of family movies. Mild-mannered Don Knotts leaves life as a milk toast bookkeeper and begins a new life as a talking fish in what live action animated film? I believe it's the incredible Mr. Limpet. Two points for Mr. Limpet. I can't remember. I and never we saw are that tied one. at 10 <laughs> yep. after two rounds. The all important third round, Ken. We're wow. going in with a tie. I'll do four, nine, and 15. Four, nine, <laughs> terrible number, and fifteen, uh, and now Cody eight. Hall, your three digits. Two. Seventeen. Uh, let's go three, ten, seventeen. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Cody Hall, you are the underdog, so you will be answering the first question for two points. Your category, number three, corresponds to war movies. And the question is, two-point question, Denzel Washington won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar Glory. in 1989 for his role in what Glory. war movie? Is that Glory? Yeah! That is correct. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy! James Horner. Juan Harris, you are now oh up. My Hopefully Lord. you do not utter a swear no, word after no, you answer no. this question. <laughs> Horror thriller is your category. For two points, in the movie Evil Dead 2, what does Ash attach to the stump of his right arm? A chainsaw. That would be a chainsaw. That's correct. Two, for points. two points. For the professor, we are once again tied. We go back to Cody Hawk. A lot of Evil right. Dead so popping up. I'm liking next it. Next number was the number <laughs> 10. Number 10. Three point question in the category of comic book movies. Yeah, that's <laughs> Three points. <laughs> Who plays the primary villain, Chadovsky, in the 2011 movie The Green Hornet? Uh, Christoph Waltz. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Christoph Waltz. Yeah, that's my boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Cody Hall coming up to play. Comic book movies is strength for his. Lucky enough to get it with a three-pointer. We'll see if Lon's three-pointer is also strength of his. Lon, uh, you chose the number nine. That corresponds up here to an actress by the name of Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Angelina Jolie movies for three Two points. Major. Your question is. Hackers. For which film? Did Angelina Jolie receive her only acting Oscar win? Girl Interrupted. Who is Girl Interrupted? We're tied That's again. Correct. Wow. Neck tied and neck. again. And we go into round three. All right. Cody Hall, you used all your toes and fingers to select the number 17. <laughs> that is the category of Oscar movies. Oh, oh boy. This is a five-point question. Jeremy Irons won the Best Actor Oscar in the 1990 film. Please provide the name. 1990, Jeremy Irons. Five. Best Supporting? Four. The Piano? Repeat the question. Uh, I'll repeat it a little more clear there. Jeremy Jeremy Irons won the Best Actor Oscar in 1990 for what film? In 1990 for what film? Five, four, three. I can't remember anything he was in like before yeah. that. One. Incorrect. No Damn. Reversal Sir. of fortune, yes. much like this game right now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's it. If Harris gets it, it's done. We're going back and forth all game. We are tied right now, and if you're joining us late, it's weird because this is on the internet. You can just go back and watch the beginning of the match first. In any event, it is 15 to 15. Lon Harris has one five-point question. If he gets this right, he wins the match. If he gets it wrong, we go to sudden death overtime. The number that Lon Harris selected for his five-point category was? Number 15. Number 15. That corresponds up here to the 1980s. 1980s Miss movies. <laughs> and your question Miss. is, in History of the World Part 1, what actor plays Emperor Nero? Uh, Dom DeLuise. Ooh, that's Mel Brooks. No. That's incorrect. Oh, Dom DeLuise. Oh, Dom so you Dom call me a big fat pig? Do you think you're speaking to me? Ken, we got us an old-fashioned overtime match. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. You're up first. All right. First question in sudden death overtime. What musical chronicles the signing of the Declaration of Independence? Ken, who would have thought that Cody Hall could even take Juan Harris to overtime? That, it's, it's amazing. It's pretty incredible. Five. Hamilton? Four, Three, yeah, but that's a two, musical. That's a movie. Professor. Uh, 1776. Cody Hall. Nothing. And Joe! Damn. Hamilton was something else, and it wasn't a movie. The Damn. Professor! Wow. Lord Hamilton! So close. What an incredible so match. Close. Congratulations. Has advanced.
hand damn is off to Lon to Professor Harris, but Cody Hall, what fight, what spunk, what moxie that kid showed. He might not be done just yet in the movie trivia showdown. Look, I don't want to say I was a know-it-all, but all of you were disparaging Cody Hall earlier, <laughs> saying he had no chance. Clearly, Lon recognized his potential and built him up and infused confidence into Cody Hall. Cody Hall could go on to greatness, and that is in thanks I love you, you know, every cat. kid in college has that one professor that really steers no, them in the right old direction. Ken, Lon Harris is probably never going to be that guy to anyone. However, no, Cody Hall, like what a it. match he had today. Now we it's go to Gary Nemiroff, who is backstage with both an interview, the loser, and the winner. A lot of Professor Harris. Perry, take it away. Hey, guys, I'm here Yay. with the professor, Lon Harris. Lon, I have to be honest, I thought you were just going to torpedo the motto, stay in school with that match. It made me a little nervous. Well, listen, I, you know, a lot of the times you come on too strong with a young person, they retreat into themselves, they give up. And what I want to do is, you know, encourage young Cody, let him know maybe there's an off chance that you could actually do well and, and bring him into the fold, let him really experience the Shmoda. So what you're saying is that was all planned. You were never getting a little nervous that Cody might steal that win from you. Was I getting nervous? No, I was not getting nervous. I, I mean, it was not it was not planned, but it was my way of, you know, being encouraging, being a good mentor and being sort of, I, I don't want to say a father figure, but okay, I will say it, a father figure to young Cody. <laughs> so let's say you were being a professor for yourself after that match. Would you add anything to your own syllabus? Do you need to change what you're doing in all of these? Well, now that I realize how much of the Schmodown's time is going, to be spent on Sandlot sequels and ninja tortoise films. You know, maybe I'll spend a little bit of time looking at some of these sort of, you know, children's entertainment and brushing up on it. But I think overall, uh, I still performed pretty well. You might actually enjoy Mighty Ducks in the Sandlot, I have to say. <laughs> this was actually about yeah. D2, which I believe would be a follow up to the original. I did a not know. A very good follow up, very might good I follow add. Up. But all right, Iceland. so you went after Cody in this match, and everyone was surprised that you picked Cody for your next match. Uh -oh. Do you have your Who's sights next? set on one of the top players now? Well, yes, uh, I do want to go for some of the top tier talent, some of the strongest competitors in the Schmodown, and that's why I've decided next uh, I plan to challenge Christian. Harlov? No, no, Christian Ruvalkaba, a.k.a. Cobster. Yay! Cobster. Hell no yeah! For someone who is 0 and 6, seems oh, like it might be a smart move right now. There's a, there's a that's theme how you, to all of this, and it is that's, young people I like with what great he's doing. potential that's going untapped, that's going sadly unrealized. And that's why I'd like to bring in Cody. Here is my wing. Come, join under my wing. I would like you to become my first acolyte. What are your What are your plans? For, for the future after this. Uh, I guess I need to learn some stuff. So. I, I would say you do, <laughs> and I think that there is a room for you in my class. Uh, we will see about maybe one day moving you up in the class. For now, you'll start at the bottom of the class. Yeah. And uh, we will train you, we will educate you, and hopefully within maybe a few years, who knows, seven, 10, 12 years, you too could be competing at, at a high Schmodown level. It could happen, I'm excited. And who knows, Lon, so. you might actually learn something from Cody too, and no. everyone could come, become <laughs> better players. <laughs> yeah. no? oh, oh, no. Okay, I didn't hey, guess. Give, sure, sure. give yourself a little credit after that match. Okay, fine. <laughs> Glad we settled on that. All right. Congratulations, guys. Have Thank fun you. doing the whole acolyte thing, whatever that is. Back to you guys. Ken, if you thought the love match it. itself love was going surprising, through, how about uh, what just went down the behind the scenes enemies crew. becoming friends, generations melding into one? I mean, I'm looking at the syllabi provided here, the <laughs> copies by, by the professor, and Cody is very smart. He saw what he almost accomplished today, and he realized to get to the next level, he must learn more at the foot of the professor. It makes perfect sense to me. This is a great syllabus. The last, the last movie that was required viewing on here, Resident Evil Extinction, in the year 2007, and then he says, I'm just kidding, Cody, you've watched quite enough of this garbage. No more films based on video games for you, and it does appear that Cody now has somebody to mentor him through the movie Trivia Schmodown Waters. Very shocking development here, Ken, and let's talk about the match itself. Cody really hung in there. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I told you. I told you up top. Cody has it in him. He sits there every day pressing buttons, watching movie talk. All these titles kind of roll around his head. He just doesn't know what to do with that knowledge. Maybe now he'll get that. And the professor, look, some stumbling blocks. We all know in the competition, uh, under the light, sometimes things happen that, that doesn't take anything away from his knowledge. He, going forward, has to be considered for a championship title run. 1776, great year for our country, not so much for Cody Hall anymore. We want to thank everybody for tuning in.
coming in. I if wouldn't you're not have gotten to it. Check out the movie trip Clearly. Go down Patreon. Go over there and support it so we can have more great matches like this Christian. one. Subscribe right here. He's got that Jesus video. on the cross. Check out the Facebook page. Movie trivia. Check out the Schmodown rundown Always on iTunes. Ken Napsok, thank you so much for joining us here today. Best of luck in your future travels. I am merely Mark Dean Baby Kane. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Best of luck in your future travels. I am merely Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. Signing off. We'll catch you real soon here on the movie trivia. A Schmodown. What an entertaining <laughs> match, to say the least. I mean, it was kind of crawling with the mat, like the points and stuff. But man, Cody hung in there. They definitely misjudged uh, the ability of Cody Hall. We all did because that's the thing is he hasn't been there for such a long time that we figured like, oh no, it's just not on in the cards for Cody yes but we also have to think about granted that he uh has been with the schmoes for quite some time since roughly a couple years um of course they talk about movies all the time over there why wouldn't he know uh or pick up stuff and I believe he used to work at a movie theater as well beforehand so it's like uh, I don't know. There might be a little something there that he's just kind of keeping back. Maybe he does know a lot more than he's leading on. A lot of the greats hung their hat at a local cinema. Jeremy Johns, Christian Harloff, Cody Hall, myself. It definitely helps if that is your job and you constantly are shoving all these movies in there. And it looked like so many times where Cody just kind of threw it out. Uh, because it was like the first thing that came to his head. But granted, even though it might be the first thing that came to his head, deep down it's kind of like the deep-seated stuff. He knew the answer. It just happened to be like, oh, and then throw it out there. But really, I'm pretty sure that in some way his subconscious mind, like in passing or whatever, just took that knowledge of whatever it was and kind of just stored it in his in his mind. And it just sucks because with just one more point could have gotten him that win. Yeah. If it would have, let's say that wheel would have spun on something he would have known and it would have been uh, a little more, you know, beneficial to him to just get that one more point. Yes. Or uh, had Lon, you know, not stolen that one point from him uh, during the second round. It is very possible we could be sitting here with the biggest upset. Now I'm kind of happy. Because then it's like, because that guaranteed would have been the biggest upset for and the And I would have been okay. I would have yeah. been like, hell yeah, that would be one point for that as the biggest upset. But I love how Lon right. is going through, like, the, the crew. I mean, going through Cody, then next Copster. And it's like, who's he going to go after that? We're going to go after Aaron. I mean, he was a, com a competitor under Deep Cuts as well. Um, Adam. I mean, you can pretty much pull any of the guys out from the back. Uh, bring Perry out and let's go after Perry. Um, Wendy. When, yeah, yes. That is what needs to happen because Wendy is a little reluctant Sorry, to Wendy. get in there. We want Wendy. Wendy, you need to get in there. Wendy Lee Zaney is the next one that needs to go. But, uh, I mean, she is a very huge part of the behind the scenes for the Schmodown. And, yeah, I would love to see Wendy go up against Lon Harris as well. I mean, Cody already just showed that it is doable. And another thing that I learned today, I want family movies on our freaking wheel. I want family movies. I want freaking uh, comedies, um, 80s, 90s. I mean, but family movies, man. That's right up my alley, except for the Don Knotts Fish one. I forgot what that one was called. But, yeah, I still can't even remember, and it just happened a little while ago. We are uh, sad that Cody lost, but are happy that he was able to show his ability in the Shmoda. Can you guys tell it's 2 o'clock in the morning? Yes, I am really <laughs> sorry. I am so tired. I was I, just going to see how far she would go and let's see if she'd fall asleep. I could not think straight. Like halfway <laughs> through listening to the match and the questions too, I was just like, wait, what, what did he say? And I was just like, I don't know what kind of question. Yeah, don't deprive yourself of sleep and Shmodown because... Your that. face wolves of steel and get your butts wet. Yeah. That's what'll happen if you deprive yourself of yeah. sleep with a showdown. Because the whole time I was like, I really want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, this is a fun match. I really enjoy exhibitions like this. Uh, and I can't wait to see Lon collect these acolytes that he's going to eventually uh, attempt to be. I would love, beat. though, like, it want, like, he does these and he picks them one by one. And then at the end, they, like, 
become like this super like thing. Super faction. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can't wait for that. But either way, what did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Always head over to Collider and you can like and do their thing on their channel. Hit up their Patreon, of course. Um, you can also, for our video, like and subscribe. And you can do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick in the party, feel the party, keep the party going at our Patreon. Get us where we need to go, like Collider video. Thank you guys so much. Whole bevy of freaking trailers came out this past week. Did a lot of reactions to them. Go check them out. Thank you guys so much, and as always, now, now it's time, time to say, say goodbye. goodbye. Bye, and this party is over.